All right, now we got to talk about learning stuff. This is what we're here to do: is, is talk about learning. Now, obviously, we like to talk about the news, but we can't really get too much into the news without explaining stuff sometimes. So, we want to talk about browser extensions, plugins, and and you may be familiar with them if you use any sort of uh, Chrome browser, if you use the, the Microsoft Edge or any of that kind of stuff. And and what these are are what for us? What are browser extensions, plugins, add-ons? Uh, they add additional functionality. Uh, cool little tweaks that you can do to, to do various functions, whether that's advertising blocking or uh, even uh, like a password manager will usually use some type of extension for like autocomplete and for form filling, things like that. I know a lot of people like to use browser extensions if they have like Microsoft Teams or if you have Google Meet where you want to do like fancy video effects. I mean, that's a really popular one. Plugins, they function a little bit differently though. Uh, you know, plugins are those things that get embedded uh, and they render content to you. So things like what, Java? Oh, yeah. Back in the day, uh, Flash. Uh, oh, yeah. Microsoft Silverlight. Rip. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> QuickTime. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people have QuickTime. Mm -hmm. So they allow you to do different things in your browsers and including things like viewing PDF files. That would be another one. But Forrest, wait for it. Here it comes. This is what the learning part is, is what are malicious extensions? Because that's what we're going to talk about today is being able to find these malicious extensions. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, just another piece of malware uh, that it uh, resides in your browser. And depending on what permissions uh, are requested, it can do some very nefarious things. So Yeah, we see a lot of that with our clients where they get adware, spyware in installed. And because of these extensions, um, you know, without your explicit consent, these things can take over your browser and they can do some real nasty things. So that is really where the focus is in the conversation. And and I'm sure you probably saw the article, but Krebs on Security, Brian Krebs, great. That's a, that's a website you need to visit like almost every day. But Brian did a great article about finding these things and how to identify them. Um, and that's that's important. It's it's a lot harder than you would think to, to be able to, to identify what's legit and what isn't. So yeah, uh, apparently a lot of people were were taken for a ride pretty recently uh, with this this Microsoft Teams extension. So people are installing it, and I think Brian said something like sixteen thousand two hundred people downloaded this malicious extension. A very yeah. dangerous stuff. And the, the trick is to be able to identify that in your in you know you're out there. You're like oh I want to get this extension installed in my browser. Um, and some people don't do their due diligence. They just rush right into it, hit the install, and the next thing you know is you have malicious content. So um, how do they find out for us? How can you figure out whether or not an extension you want to install is dangerous? It's, uh, it's pretty tough. I mean, uh, if you're super technical, you can download it and unpack the extension and look at the code, but that's, you know... Who has time for that? Yeah, the number of people that are actually going to be doing that is slim to none. Uh, even if they did... Uh, it, for example, in this this fake Microsoft Teams extension, even the um, uh, the the domain that it was sending this information to wasn't being flagged by VirusTotal. It was still showing as being a legitimate clean domain. So, and the developers' email addresses too. Oh, yeah. Were, like the Google Store, they have to be a Gmail address. Yeah, or or use utilizing Google Mail services in some way. So whether that's like G Suite or what have you, but. Um, yeah, the, the email addresses is a whole other nightmare. Uh, you can look at the, the contact, the developer email address link, uh, and that, that will show you, you know, where you would, you would send an email to, to get support or whatever. Uh, in, in the case of some of the Microsoft ones, the, le the legitimate Microsoft extensions have some really funky email addresses like MSFT live apps at Gmail. Or, whoa, whoa, that's a, uh, that's a mouthful. MS and app.chrome at gmail like who's gonna check that like th that how is that even remotely legit like i see that and <laughs> alarm bells are going off in my head like you know it, 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 in exact in this uh microsoft teams one uh the the email was harper rodriguez 31 at gmail so it's like yeah i don't know the, the email is like one thing that you can try what, I'd say a what better about the, indicator yeah. is is probably the reviews. Yeah, that's where you need to start, folks. You need to read the review before you install anything. You got to start through with the reviews. Yeah. And so we'll put up on the the screen right now. You can kind of see an example. This is a screenshot from from Krebs uh, website, but you see the names here like Joel Saunders, uh, Teresa Duncan, and and we put red arrows on this screenshot here. You see Anna Jones. So look at Teresa Duncan and Anna Jones. 
Uh, and here they go, uh, three out of five stars. Very convenient and and handing, whatever that means. Very convenient handing. So right there, there's a spelling issue. I love the apps, Forrest. They're integrated in this extension. I, you know, I hope you guys keep adding new apps as you change them in the future. And then Teresa Duncan writes, I, it's great. I've only had a few occasional issues with it. So you see they're, you know, very similar, you know, first and last names here. You see there's no image, no, no picture with the person. You also know notice that the other person's reviews and like this one guy Joel do not download it's a third party it's a worm all right yeah I mean right there you, you get the reviews so you got to read the reviews folks and uh, and that can help you find some of these dangerous extensions so you don't install them and there you have it folks so dangerous extensions out there do your due diligence before you install tell your friends and family about these things read the reviews try to try to use some some knowledge in there looking for those fake reviews before you install and always read the developers email as well so there you have it.